Good evening. A Honolulu lawyer is about to file a class action lawsuit against the State Department of Education. Attorney Eric Seitz says the DOE needs to do more for special needs students. He sued the DOE once before, back in 1994, on behalf of a girl who was a student at that time, Jennifer Felix. And tonight, Felix's mother shares her opinion on the need for a second lawsuit and an update on how her daughter is doing. KITV 4's Diana Ko has a story that's all new at 6 and only on KITV 4. Can Jenny say hi? Do you like your makeup today? Mm. Yeah? This is Jennifer Felix today, almost three decades after the state agreed to the Felix Consent Decree, meant to create a sea change in the way the Department of Education helps special needs students. I think at first, um, when the Felix Consent Decree came out, they made a lot of progress. But I think that they have really slipped back to their old ways. Servetti and her family moved to Hawaii in the 70s when she tried to get services for her autistic daughter. They basically told me to move back to California if I didn't like it and that they weren't going to provide anything. And so it was very frustrating. Now, 29 years later, Servetti says she sees the exact same thing. Intimidating parents and not providing the services or making it so... Um, outreach for parents to have to fight for services still. Cervetti is glad Eric Seitz filed a suit on her behalf in 1994. She worries about other families who are going through the same problems today. I think it's really necessary for the future of our children with um, any kind of disability. What's a sign for movie? Movie. Yes. As for Jenny, who turns 50 this September, she lives in her own apartment with full-time aides and has activities. She makes doggy treats, organic doggy treats, and she has a Facebook site called Keeny Treats, and she um, delivers them to the pound every day, Humane Society here. Cervetti is happy that Jenny is stabilized and engaged, and she hopes for the sake of other parents of disabled children positive change will come. I never really thought that she would grow up because I was so focused on what the daily thing. And then, bam, the kid's out of school. And that's when more problems begin. Which is why it's so important to try to make some progress now. Exactly. Say bye. bye. Diana Koke, ITV4, Island News.